Hey guys, Stevie here. Got another Lightworks tutorial for you. This one's on organizing your media using bins and racks within the Lightworks beta program. So you get started here, you can see we've picked up from where we left off pretty much in our last tutorial, which was the timeline basics within Lightworks. Over here you can see we have a scene open, which is our edit window. Now this was edit 7 in our last video, but we took the liberty of renaming it to scene 7. Now, when we finish the edit here, we can go ahead and turn off the record so that this window turns from uh, red to a purplish color. And then we can go ahead and pop out the title here, which is just going over here, popping that out, pop out title, excuse me. Now I can just go ahead and close the edit window, and then you can see I have scene 7 open right down here, which is just in a little thumbnail. And if I wanted to go ahead and preview that, I can open that up. And using the space bar, I can preview it. You can see we have our slow motion shot here. We can go forward a little bit. We're still using slow motion, and you can tell the audio is messed up a little bit. And then we go towards the end, and you can see we have our next scene, which is also part of scene 7. So I can go ahead and minimize that and make that into another pop-out title. And basically, you see over here we have two bins, which include scenes 1 to 6. Scene 7 is over here, and then scene 8 is in another bin. Now, this is a very convenient way for organizing your media. And um, we showed you a little bit about how to create a new permanent bin in our last uh, tutorial. However, I'm going to go ahead and cover that once more. So I want to make a scene 7 bin, which is going to go between scenes 1 and 6 and scene 8. To do that, I go over to the toolbox on the left-hand side of the screen, go down to create a new bin. I click on that tool in the toolbox, and then it shows uh, this grid-type window, which has nothing in it. It looks empty. It has this blue title that says bin. Now, if I want to change that title, I just go over here, highlight the word bin, and I can change that to scene 7. And then what happens is, you see it's still a blue title. Now, in order for that to be a permanent bin, it has to have a green title. To do that, you go over to the settings here, you click on, go over to the permanence, click on permanent instead of transient. Transient is basically temporary, uh, permanent is obviously a permanent bin. And that prevents you from accidentally deleting it, because you can always go back and recover that bin. So now I want to go ahead and drag this thumbnail video clip into the scene 7 bin. Just do that by dragging it, holding it down, dragging it over a top, and you see the bin is highlighted blue. When that happens, you just drop it into place. And then you can go ahead and minimize this as well. And then we have scenes 1 to 6 in one bin, scene 7, and then scene 8 in another bin. And now basically, I want to show you what happens if you accidentally close a bin. Now, I'm just going to start up a new bin right here just to show you the difference between a permanent and temporary bin. I'm just going to name this one temp so it's easy. Okay, now I've minimized that. So now they all look the same. Now if I close a temporary bin and the scene 7 bin. Now to get back to scene 7 bin or the temporary bin, we have to go over here to the toolbox, click on search, go over to the tab that says groups. Now we're looking for a bin, so we want to make sure we have bin highlighted over here. It should be done by a green dot. Now, we're looking for the bin that's, that was named temporary, so we're just going to put in the name, which was temp, and click on search. Okay, actually this is a permanent bin, so it did not work. Um, what did I do? My bad. Sorry about that. Okay, now I'm going to close this. Go ahead and search. T temp nothing comes up because it was a temporary bin. I accidentally made it permanent, I guess. I don't know what happened, but anyway, this is what's supposed to happen. You're supposed to get a, um, a box that pops up that says no matches found um, because that was a temporary bin, and we were searching for, for a bin that we had closed, and since it was temporary, we're not able to get that back. So we're going to go ahead and close this search box. We come over here, click on groups again. We're still searching for a bin, so we want to have that um, checked off. And then we're going to put in scene 7, which is the other... Um, the other bin that we got rid of. So we're going to go ahead and click on search and then the scene 7 bin pops up with our media inside of it. Um, now this is a permanent bin so that's why that happened. Um, when it's a temporary bin it does not pop back up. It's gone forever so you want to definitely be careful about that. You want to be careful what you put into permanent or temporary bins and you want to try to make sure you get into the habit of making everything a permanent bin so it's searchable and recoverable. So we're going to go ahead and minimize that scene 7 bin. Okay, so basically, when we have all this stuff open, it's kind of a mess, right? As you can imagine. Uh, but Lightworks has a lot of different tools that you can use to manage your media very easily and to make this mess into something that's actually organized. Because as you can imagine, when you have your different edits open, 
like this. It's kind kind of a mess. Your whole screen is taken up if you have multiple scenes open. Um, like say you have another edit open over here. You can obviously tell that this could become quite a mess quite easily. Um, so a great way to organize everything is some is simply sorry my bad um, to make all of these edits into once you're finished editing you got all your media um, organized in your timeline you have everything put together your transitions done which we can get to in another tutorial you want to just go ahead over to the side here you want to turn off the record button you go over here to pop out tile and then that makes it into a, this little thumbnail tile and then you can go ahead and close all your edits um, you can close your other edits once they're popped out and then you have your scene 7 bin which you drag this over here yeah um, it deletes the duplicate media and then you can obviously see you can minimize these and now what you can do even though you have all these bins all over the place so it's still not perfect you go over to the side here under your toolbox go over to create a new rack you just click on the uh, rack tool right there and it opens up a rack now what you have to understand is that bins uh, represent say a container or um, a like a literal bin um, that you'd be storing, say, film reels or uh, DV tapes um, if you were actually on a film shoot. So that's basically what a bin is, is that it's something that you store individual video clips within. So I don't know if you're following me with that analogy, but um, a good friend of mine told me that, and I think it really does, does make sense. Basically what a rack does then, a rack would combine all your bins. So a rack, I guess, would be something like a shelf, which you would have bins on, which have stuff within them. So just think of any room that you've organized in your own house. You have a shelf, probably, with bins on it, and then within that you have random stuff within those bins. Um, so that's basically what a rack is. Now there's a lot of similar options. Um, for Actually, there's a lot less options for racks than bins, but there are a couple up here. You can go over to the rack permanence, and you definitely want to get into the habit of making these permanent racks for the same reason as the bins. You can search for these and recover them if you've accidentally closed them. However, if they're permanent, that's not, or if they're temporary, that's not going to happen. So you can rename these racks. Say I want to make this into part one. Say I'm working on a short film. I have all these scenes which are part of part one of my video, and I want to combine them so it's easy to get to after I've finished part two. Do that, you can either open up a new room, but then you're going to have a mess in both rooms, or you can just drag all your video clips that correspond to each scene into your individual scene bins, which we've done over here, and then you can drag these bins within that permanent part one rack. You just do that by dragging them and dropping them, just like you do to add a video clip to your uh, individual bins. You just drag it in, and now you can rearrange these by going over here. Oh, no, actually, you cannot do that. My bad. You just rearrange them by drive, dragging them. That was within the bins. You can rearrange media within bins by going over here, going over to sort by, and then you can change it to sort by the name or the date. Um, date, 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 date. Yeah, there you go. Or you can sort by the date, then you can minimize it and drag it back into your rack. So that's definitely the way that I am going to go about organizing media within Lightworks. I think it really does make a lot of sense, and it really does help. So then you can drag over your part one rack over to the side here, and then say, this is a scene that I've edited, right? I've opened this up. Open that up. I have an edit done. And then say, okay, this is going to be um, part two, scene three, right? I'm going to go ahead and close that. I'm going to pop out the tile here close the edit and then what I'm going to do is open up a new bin nope my bad new bin and I'm gonna name this scene one as well get drag in my clip or actually this is scene three whatever and then I'm gonna make this a permanent bin which I guess oh that's why I did that whenever you rename a bin it makes it a permanent bin as well so that's another way of going about doing it but just make sure the titles uh, turns green once you click out of it. Now you can go ahead and minimize this and then what I'm going to do is make a new rack which is going to be titled part 2 now I'm going to drag this scene 3 into part 2 rack, minimize that now you have part 1 and 2 of your short film can start a new rack, which I'm going to call short film, 
Now, I'm thinking this is going to work, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh, yes, it does work. Perfect. That's what I thought it was going to do. You can drag in different racks within racks. So then you have your entire short film. Say we call this Winter War in honor of our new short film that's coming up soon. We're going to be editing it or shooting it next weekend, I believe, as long as the weather doesn't do anything screwy like this last weekend. Now you can see you have your entire short film organized within this one rack. You have your main rack, which has two racks within inside that. And if you open up these racks, you get all your different scenes inside of each one. And when you open up those, you get all the clips that are part of those scenes within um, that bin. So I'm hoping that this helped you a little bit, kind of gets you used to the organization methods um, that are available to you within the Lightworks beta program. And I hope that these tutorials are really helping you. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, guys.